Hi, I'm a math major, and I've taken some math classes, so I decided to rank them. From legendary, Einstein approved, to this is absolute garbage, never take this. Starting out with Algebra 1, this class was good. It taught you the basics, you learned what a variable is, and you also learned the quadratic formula for some reason. Overall, this class is important, and I thought it was a fun introduction to what we will learn next. Because of this, I put it into interesting and fun. Next up, we have Algebra 2, Algebra 1's bigger brother. Honestly, I remember this class being pretty chill. It was a lot of drawing, and we did a lot of conceptual things like limits. But I don't remember anything from the class besides for the fact that my teacher had the nickname called Fenderbender. Because this wasn't very memorable, I'm just gonna put it in okay. But what's not okay is this next class, Pre-Calc. I'm pretty sure all we did was learn the unit circle. This class is all about trig because, well, you need it for calc. And we also drew these weird flower petals. I felt like we didn't learn much, and not much of it is useful. Now, for some reason, before we do calc, we did geometry. We learned some circle and like some triangle stuff, but this class has not been relevant in any shape or form. I guess we did learn dad man bomb sink. So yeah, this goes in no. But now... Ladies and gentlemen, representing... Mathematicas. Ready or not, here he comes. Quake with fear, you mortal fools. Bow down before the awesome might of... Every high schooler's nightmare. Calculus. Here we learn about integrals, derivatives, and these will be the backbone of everything you will learn going forward. Everything you will learn is basically new to you, and if you want to do any more math, you need to do well in this class. Because of these reasons, this class is a legendary. If you survived calculus, now you get to take calculus 2, or calc BC. This is the more cringe stuff. You have to do your series tests, your convergence tests, and also some like Taylor expansions. It's been 4 years since I've needed to Taylor expand something, but people do this a lot, so it's like sometimes useful. But personally, I didn't like it at all. Next, we move on to Calculus 3. This is basically Calculus 1, except now you have it in 3D. Oh, and suddenly now we're green. The most important things you learn is chain rule with multiple variables, and also what a Jacobian is. This has not been very useful, except for maybe if you want to do more math, but even then, like, is it useful? Nope, not really. What is useful is Linage. In the class, we start off talking about matrices, and then it turns out they're useful for like everything. You learn how to RREF, how to upper lower diagonalize, we do some PDPing, and Gram Schmitty. Because it's so useful, I think we have to put it in legendary. Next on the list, we have stats. You learn some cool distributions like Poisson, Exponential, Gamma, and you use these to figure out how many customers Mr. Billy will have in his shop. It also gives you an introduction to covariance, joint distributions, PDFs, CDFs, which will all be useful later. Overall, I think it's okay. It's not the greatest, but it's also not the worst class to take. Now, welcome to the world of ODEs. We have one general type of equation, and we have many ways to attack it. We start by guessing and checking, and then we learn about integrating factors. Turns out, Laplace is just the easiest. Overall, I thought the class was okay. It was pretty fun, but nothing special. Next, we have discrete math. It felt like they just chucked random shit at you. Shit tier. Next up... Everything you know is wrong. You don't even know what a number is. But with enough heart and enough commitment, we can rebuild math from the ground up. Okay, but in half the proofs, it feels like they're spawning stuff out of nowhere and somehow it just works. And the reasoning is literally because it works. Okay, I actually like the class, but like, if you don't have to take it, don't take it. Unless you're into torture. This is a very easy no. So that concludes my undergrad math tier list. Let me know if anything you think is misplaced. But yeah, other than that, bye!